This is going to be a quick run through of creating a brand new iOS application and adding 3.20 to it using only the command line. There's a new script called uh, TT module included with 3.20 which will allow you to do this. To begin, let's go ahead and start creating our project. You notice we're just creating a basic application here. We'll do a Windows based or window based application. Uh, go ahead and just do iPhone. And let's see. We'll just say. Um, TT module demo. Okay, so this is a basic application. You'll notice we can build it, run it, everything will be fine. Uh, launching this up. Pretty standard starting procedure for an application. Now, what if we want to add 320 to this? Well, in the past we've had to, uh, you know, manually add, okay, existing files, and we find 320 in here, get the source, go through, add the project, blah, blah, blah. Now, instead, uh, there's actually just uh, one one liner in uh, the command line that we can use to add 320 and any module in 320 to uh, an Xcode project. So to begin, let's go into uh, 320 here, and I'm going to just run the new TT module script found within uh, source scripts TT module. And we'll look at the help here. So you notice it's fairly documented. Uh, we've got a number of examples of how to use it. Uh, in this particular case, we're just going to add the entire 320 module set to the library using the dash p switch, and the uh, the module's name will be 320. So uh, let's load up the script here again, and the name of the project. Well, we'll type the path to the project here. Uh, relative to the current location, which would be T module demo dot Xcode proj, and we're gonna add 3.20. And that's it. Hit enter, runs the script. Now we go reload the project. Done. All of the frameworks have been added, quartz core is in there, the targets have been set up correctly. Uh, you'll notice the links all the binaries here and uh, bonus feature uh, so that just sets that just adds all the libraries and whatnot uh, if we want we can also actually set up the project's uh, configuration properties for each configuration automatically too so let's go ahead and look in here at the other switch we have which is dash c and we'll say okay add the 320 configurations for uh, debug and release now, I could have just done this in the initial script, but I'm just showing here that it's possible to run these independently of each other. So I'll hit enter, run this now, reload the project, and let's check out the properties here. So we'll look at debug first. Um, actually, in this particular version of the script, they're all the same. So we'll look at linker flags. Oh, there we go. All load and objectives here and there. Header search path. Bam automatically figures out what the relative path is to 320. Uh, so now when we add the 320 source in here, everything works exactly as expected. Everything builds, all the depend dependencies work, and no errors, and we've even imported uh, the 320 header file. So that's the uh, that's the basic run-through of the new Python script. Hope you have fun.